We return to the adventures of Grapple Crapple. Yesterday, well, technically, last episode you guys watched was me defeating the Duke's dear Freya. As evidenced by the fact that we still have the uh, no invaders bonfire symbol, whatever the hell that is supposed to be up there. Now, I haven't beat any bosses since then, but I did play a little bit. Unfortunately, my controller died mid-episode, and I tried playing with keyboard and mouse, and it almost made me want to tear my hair out. So, we're back with a new controller. I ordered you the finest controller from Amazon.com uh, slash Mr. Streamer needs a new, a new controller. Uh, it cost me a total of 15 British pounds, so the series is almost going to be able to pay for it, thanks to YouTube's monetization. And honestly, I said this in Discord, it is like night and day. It is such a strange experience playing with... Bear in mind, last time I had, I had a, uh, a wireless controller, which had a rechargeable battery back in it, so when the batteries started to go, it would act a bit funky. When that... I mean, obviously, wireless devices anywhere are a little bit funky, but I, I can't... I don't know if it will come across in the video. But honestly, this feels so much snappier to me now, having a wired controller. It might just be the different button layout. It might be more comfortable for me to hold. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just purely placebo, but it actually genuinely feels so much snappier playing it with this. And honestly, Dark Souls 3, I went from playing Dark Souls 3 with the wireless controller to the wired controller to test it out, and it was genuinely like night and day. It was so, so strange trying to do it. Now, as I said, I did play for it a little bit, and what I did was I went into... The shaded, uh, sorry, the star of, what is it even called now? Huntsman's Cops, there we are. I got uh, two bonfires through there. To be fair, the first bonfire is very, very easy to get to. The second one is relatively easy to get to. There's only a few enemies. So I went back through the Huntsman's Cops and uh, tried to make some progress through there. But again, without a controller, it was honestly making me just want to quit Dark Souls and never play again. So hopefully this time around, not only will, will I be a bit better because I feel like I've got a slightly better controller now, um, but... We want to get a repeat of that as well. I, I definitely need a break from Dark Souls when I was recording that last one. So I'm glad. I, I kind of scrapped that episode. Obviously, we picked up a few items in that episode as well. So if you see anything different, it will be from that. Um, wait, hang on. Why have we only got one giant soul? I'm frightened now because... Oh, does the soul you pick up from the dragon in the Duke's Dear Freya room not count as a giant soul? It just counts as one of the great souls. Maybe it does. I certainly hope that's the case. Uh, oh, well, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, oh, maybe that's the one we picked up because it comes playing with the randomizer. So if that's an item that's on the floor, maybe that one gets randomized. And this is the, we've already picked that one up, which is the one in our backpack. Because we're obviously not supposed to have any right now besides that one. Because you get them by going back in time, which will cross that logical jump when we get there. Anyway, um, at the end of, I believe it was at the end of the last episode. Obviously, it's a bit weird for me now in terms of the timeline. I asked you guys what I should do with the greatsword. And I ended up actually infusing it with the lightning. Because we've already got, according to the comment section, some very, very good, powerful, strength-based weapons anyway. So we've, already, we've got the Dragon's Tooth, which at its, it, it can only reinforce to plus 5 because it uses Twinkling Titanite. But that goes to a high A in terms of scaling as well. And does just a ridiculous amount of damage. Unfortunately, the durability is lower in this one. But it is crazy, crazy strong. We've got the Club. We've got the Sacred Chime Hammer, which we've already reinforced to plus 5. So that's the one I'm sort of banking on eventually being able to use. We need more Faith, Intelligence, Strength as well. We've got the Sanctum Mace, which is also viable. We just need a lot of Poison Resist for it. So... Fingers crossed as we go through here, we'll find some weapons to make that more viable. I don't think I've picked up anything else that's worth mentioning. Oh, I got Black Knight's Great Axe, but that's actually while I was grinding out some souls in Heidi's Tower of Flame. That's why I was there. Um, C in Strength, D in Dex, but we like the Dex and the Strength. But that does base... Was it fire damage? Yeah, it is fire damage. Wow. That's a very, very powerful weapon. The range on it is insane. So maybe that'll be another option we have coming up. Oh, here's an important thing I did pick up in my brief time in Huntsman's Cops. Was the... Royal Soldier Ring plus one. Basically, Havel's Ring. Increases equip load. So, we're at 47.4%, and we've still got our Vengal's armor on it as well. One of the most powerful armor sets in the game. So, we're doing pretty goddamn well for ourselves. It just feels so snappy. I just hope it comes across in the video. Anyway, um, I came out to this guy specifically because someone in the comment section said to reinforce the club. Ooh, that also requires Tinkling and Titanite. We've got four of it. Oh, wow. Um... And what do we need for our hammer? Just our base sort of regular old hammer. Oh, we've already fully upgraded it. It's already plus five. I guess it must be because I can't bloody see it on the list. There's our lightning sword. Yeah, we've already fully upgraded it. So the question is, what do we next spend Twinkling Titan on? We've got the choice of the Black Knight Great Axe. Or we've got the choice of the Dragon Tooth. Or the Black Dragon Great Sword. But I really didn't like that. Oh, that also uses Petrified Dragon Bones instead. Um, This is a hard choice. Uh, What do you use? Twinkling Titanite as well. So we've got three weapons. I mean, the Nile Great Sword is okay. 
Black Knight Great Axe or Dragon Tooth. I know the scaling on this is very good. It's already a B. So I'm going to sink some points into that. I, th I believe it's either level 4 or 5. It becomes a an A in scaling. And we've put a lot of points into strength already. This could be quite good. But the durability is quite shit. So save it just for boss fights and fight everything else or something else, basically. I also slightly upgraded our Pharos Mask too. The Bull Mask is great. Don't get me wrong. It's quite funny. But it's very, very heavy. And the Pharos Mask gives us a nice all-round sort of bonus defense there. So rolling with that one for the timing. And it's very, very light by comparison. Anyway, let's get back to work. That's, that's I think, just kind of catching you up on what you may have missed from the episode that I've scrapped. Let's go to... Huntsman's Cops. You know what? I'm going to go the proper way for those of you who say have never played Dark Souls 2 before. Um, I'll show you the way you're actually supposed to get to Huntsman's Cops from Majula. You get to everywhere from Majula, so it's, it's all, all roads lead back here. The only thing I'm a little bit... So I've gone from playing with like an Xbox 360 controller to a, wi a wireless Xbox 360 to a wired Xbox One. Um, the only downside to that is the Xbox One bumper buttons, which you do for your light attacks. Obviously, it's bumper buttons for light attack and then triggers for the heavy attack. The bumper buttons are really, really weird to me. So I don't know about you guys. There's, there's like two ways to hold a control, right? All you do, right? It's normally where Tidy's Tower of Flame, for those of you interested in how to get there. Talk to her. She'll press this button for 2,000 souls and rotate the gate. And that's basically it. So you just walk this way instead. Um, there's two ways to really hold a control, right? You've got the way where you hold it with your index finger and your middle finger on both hands. So having your middle fingers on the triggers and your index finger on the bumpers. But I've always, probably because I grew up with GameCube and Sega, uh, like Sega Genesis, Master System, whatever you want to call it, if you're America, uh, I only have ever used my index fingers for both the triggers and the bumpers. And with this controller, it's really, really difficult to do that. I'm genuinely quite surprised how tricky it is because the shape of the controller is kind of odd because they put it really, really high up. It's almost like uh, flush to the top of the controller. Well, it is flush to the top of the controller. So it's a really different experience going between them. I'll get used to it eventually, but I always find it kind of hard to get over there. So this is the one thing worth mentioning that's on the way. This guy here, the guy of part of the Dark Covenant here. I think we can actually do this, can't we? Correct me if I'm wrong, but the way it works is you speak to this guy three times, three different locations. We met him in the uh, Shaded Woods. He was down the drop where you meet Orn Effects, or you're supposed to meet Orn Effects before I murdered Orn Effects. Um, well, it wasn't really my fault. I was trying to save Orn Effects, but we met him down there. We've met him here. There's another location he appears. After that, he'll offer you to join his covenant. So right now, he'll sell us items because we've met him twice. The third time, you can join the covenant. And then basically, essentially, one of these really, really hard... I'll call it raids. It's probably the right word for it. Is our first bonfire. Um, I should really also... I did die a couple of times yesterday as well using keyboard and mouse. So I will go human at some stage. The um, the covenant, I believe we can do because it basically lets you... <laughs> yikes, that was bad. Lets you go on raids, which uh, you, you kind of go into these... I don't know how best to describe it. This will poison us. So I'm going to be careful around here. I know there's an item down the back though. So I'm looking out for that. And you, you go into like these dark places and you have to like... Oh, fuck off. You have to, like, um, extinguish a, a fire or something inside. And there's lots of really, really hard enemies. But in response, you get some quite powerful gear. Um, and it obviously lets you level up through the Covenant as well. There it is. How the fuck do we get there? Can I drop down here? Oh, God. Uh, I think I... No, I can't. Um, how do I get to that? If anybody knows, let me know. Maybe we've got to go, like, underneath. Um, maybe we've just got to fucking jump it, huh? There is a way to actually get to the bottom of that by the looks of it there. Many people have died around here as well. I guess they've been knocked off. Yeah, I have no idea how to get it, so I'm, I'm not going to risk it. We're just going to blitz back to the Huntsman's Cop, so I can kind of catch myself back up on the small amount that I've lost out on here. Goodbye, my friend. All right, here we go. Huntsman's Cop. So you're probably thinking, that's where the big boss lives. No, that's a side boss, an optional side boss, and it's a horrible optional side boss. Like, it's really, really not fun, but I will be going for it. Uh, through here is a load of shit, so I'm going to be very careful. I'm just going to quickly blitz through this area. I've already picked up all the items. This is basically as far as I got. Um, actually, no, there's a bonfire slightly out here, which I've also picked up. But after that, it's basically as far as I got. Ooh, yikes. Our health is so bad. Please fuck off. Luckily, we've got this extremely powerful hammer, so we don't have to panic too much. But yeah, this is how you was, are, are normally supposed to go this way. Um, there's a nice man around there. I've already got it. Now, instead, there's just an angry man who will attack me. But yeah, I was trying to... I did a bit of research into what is the best... Excuse me? What is the best uh, PC gaming controller? Everybody recommends those really, really crazy expensive Xbox One Elite controllers, which look very cool. Don't get me wrong. But they were like, it was genuinely like £150 or something like that for one of those, which is 
horribly expensive controller. The one I'm using right now, the wired Xbox One, was 20 and it, it feels actually very, very decent quality, so I really can't complain about that. That's about as far as my budget extends for second channel games. Right, well, let's get some humanity going here. Let's sit down at this bonfire, get ourselves back up to full health. So the actual big enemy in the Huntsman's Cops, well, there isn't really one in the Huntsman's Cops specifically. This is an area that leads on to something else. Um, but that is the big enemy for this zone, and that's the Executioner's Chariot. It's not really a traditional boss. It's more of an arena-style gauntlet, might be the best word to describe it. There's also some story characters here. We can find uh, Crichton locked up somewhere and try and free him, although I don't think we'll be able to find the key. Uh, he's the character that was supposed to see in the Brightstone and Seldora fighting uh, Peter Serafinowicz. Oh, so you pointed out as well, in the Brightstone and Seldora, one of the empty houses, I was like, what the hell is the point of this house? Some of you pointed out that's where Ornifex goes to live if I hadn't murdered her horribly. Anyway, let's get to business. And this area is thoroughly boring. Um, there's an enemy phantom that spawns in. There's, uh, there's actually just an enemy phantom that spawns in and a few items. That's genuinely it. Oh my god, be careful. He's massive. Careful. Oh my god, it's Lenin. Roll. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Is this a mini boss? I don't really remember how tough these guys are. No, to answer that question. I've saved I've saved the world. You're welcome. Not today, Karl Marx. Uh we can also Rampart Golem armor. Oh hello, what is that? Whoa! That looks cool. It's worse than our Vengar's armor and weighs more, but of course we've uh, reinforced Vengar's armor. It's actually not much worse. Vengar's armor plus two. If we can reinforce this one, if we've got the components to do it, it actually might be good to upgrade. And it gives us, uh, oh my god, it gives us, uh, is that dart resist? That's quite nice. It also looks fucking cool as all hell. It's a shame it doesn't quite match our Pharos mask. I could be persuaded to go into that. Well, we'll see if we've got the resources to tech into it. It might use Petrified Dragon Bones. I don't think it does. I think all armor uses like Titanite Chunks or something. I think I loved the bridge last time I played. Ooh, there's an item in there. Hello. I did miss something. Oh, do we have to drop through the roof to get into here? Uh, bash this. Oh, there's a... Why is there a King's Knight in there? How weird. Can we make that jump, do you think? I bet we can get in there, can't we? Huh! No. We can do a really cool Tony Hawk's Pro Skater style trick, though. How do we get up there? Hmm. I mean, I know how we get up there, but I'm wondering how we get specifically into... I'll give it one more go. No, I, don't, I, think, that's, I think that's a way you're supposed to come out of somewhere. I don't know why there's a King's Knight there. Those are the ones that defend the doors that you need for the King's Seal. Uh, which is one of the final bosses in the game after you've got all of your fucking... Go back in time, get all your bot Dragon Souls, whatever else. Oh, it's where I died last. This is where I basically gave up and consigned the episode to the Void. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's because I did exactly this. I got lured in by my bloodstain. Melix, I don't remember how much is in there. Oh, God. Wow, you're pretty. You're a pretty angry fella. All right, give me that. What we got here? 3,000 souls. Yeah, it wasn't really worth rushing down like that. Oh, a human of figgy, though, is pretty good. Let's have a bit of a sippy. Gloop. Thank you. Oh, God. Watch out for that extremely slow arrow. Is there not another bonfire in this? I don't know how I did that. Uh, in this tent here, or am I... As a contraption. Uh, maybe that's what you pull to the lower the bridge. Like I said, I did this yesterday in, in kind of an angry blitz. So, <laughs> it's going to take a while to get back to me. There's also an item up there. How the hell do we get to that? Oh, that's on the way to the Executioner's Chariot. Oh, great. Um, and what, was that, what was that room I wanted to try? Oh, yeah. Look, we can drop into that. I have a feeling this might be a bonfire or something, you know. Maybe we can also get into there from here. Hello. Um, plunge attack. Plunge attack. Nice. Wow. you fucking roasted, chief. King's leggings. Nice. Uh, we've got monastery charm and a soul of a proud knight. It's very nice. This is not going to be a mimic. We'd have hit it when we, uh, when we did our down attack. And in the chest we have notched whip. That's one of the items, as I recall, you can get from... Or is it the old whip you get from the birds? It's the old whip, isn't it? Notched whip is not very good, unfortunately. But you have to say, try jumping. I failed. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I've let you down there, chief. What are you? You are so creepy. Da -da 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 -da. Excuse me. Michael Jackson, is that you? Michael Jackson from the Thriller video, not as in the Exhumed Corpse. What is that? Be gone? He drops an item? Alon Knight Leggings. I think that's the guy that normally drops the key that you're supposed to use to get into that jail there, the one in front of us. I think there's also a bonfire in there, so... Oh, God, if we can't get the key, it's going to make the Executioner's Chariot very, very difficult because we're going to have to come through this area... Every single attempt we want to make at it. Yeah, we can't get in. Um, 
Do you think we can scum up the, the geometry here? See if we can jump up the side. Let's give it a goddamn go. Tree skip. T uh, tree Excuse me. Let's try that again. Tree skip. No. Okay, we're not going to be able to get to the bonfire. That sucks. Um... I thought, hang on, the keys aren't randomized though, are they? So maybe that wasn't the guy that drops the key. What's in here? Dirty pots. There's, a, there's like a, I feel like there's a summoner or something in here, isn't there? It's all of a brave warrior, that's fantastic. There's a skellington. Is that like a necromancer or something? Hello. You're like the least threatening enemy right now. Brilliant. Sorry, I forgot we need to one-hand this ammo always, otherwise the range is garbage. Okay. Um, this is weird. I actually really don't remember too much of this area. Like I said, it's, it's been a long time since I've properly played Dark Souls. I skipped over a lot of it last time I played it. Be gone. Okay. Be careful. These guys also reform, don't they? As I recall, they come back to life. Oh, they come back to life because it's a bloody necromancer. Right, so they themselves maybe inherently don't. Is he through here? Oh, necromancer. I'm here for the strongest potions. Ow. Oh god, there he is. Please. Be gone. Nice work. Nice work. Be careful. There's a lot of skeletons. Watch out for the curse. Nice work. Nice work. Okay. Keep rolling. Never stop. Wow. That was close on the curse though. Good job. Okay. I think that's it. I think we're good. Let's take a sippy. Maybe the key's in here that we can open the prison with. Don't think it is. Is there not a big enemy through here as well or am I misremembering? Uh, some more skeletons. How do we get in there? I wonder. Try torch. Oh, really? Maybe we need to light the light the way through. I never do anything with the torch. Yeah, look, there is a torch sconce. Okay. Uh, we've got a flame butterfly. I suppose we could just give it a go. Maybe they're lying to us. We've got 43 flame butterflies. I don't think we need to worry about anything else, sir. Uh, is that light? Okay. We've been lied to. <laughs> Maybe we need to light up, like, everything in the area. Something like that. Um, I'll go back through. I noticed there was a couple of other torch sconces. Like, there's one here. Bright little brazier. Slight fire to that one. There was one at the start of the cave. This is very Legend of Zelda if this is the case. Oh, there's a side passage back there. Which way did we come from? Uh, evidently not here. This reminds me of Valley of Drakes so much. My god. In fact, this area is very Valley of Drakes if I'm remembering it properly. It's kind of coming back to me a little bit. All right, let's light this one up as well. Are there any other... Uh, I mean, uh, firstly, A, if this is a torch puzzle, it's kind of cool. But if, if it is, are there any other torch puzzles in Dark Souls? Give this an offhand. Can you hit with it? You can block. You can hit with it. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's done anything. It seems weird that they'd have something to light there if it didn't do anything, though, huh? Um, hello. No, look. Clearly, the contraption's on the other side. Well, never mind. We tried. More importantly, that's how the flame butterflies work. We, I didn't realize we had 43 of them. That's going to be so good for when we get to the gutter, which is Blight Town, but worse. Undead bug, but worse. Undead settlement, but worse. Filled with zombies and darkness. And there's no way to get to the bonfire. Tragic. Right, we're going to go this way. Just because, as I recall, it's very valid. Oh, yeah, it really is. Whoa, hello. I didn't even see you there. Be gone. It doesn't even light them on fire. What the hell? It's good job we are one-handed this mace anyway. We might as well keep the torch on for as long as we can. There's no downside to it, is there? Unless you can burn through them. Is that the total burn time after you've lit the torch? I don't like completely... 1 hour 42, maybe to burn through all of the torches in our backpack. I've no idea how the torch mechanics work. Because they're so... At least I thought they were so underused in this game. Wow, that really did break our poise there. Although, to be fair, being shot in the head with an arrow probably would break many people's poise. Give me a sippy. How are people dying here? There's a big enemy coming up or something like that that I've... Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... There's also a big butterfly in the air. <laughs> okay. Um... So this way goes back to, oh, this is how we get in there properly. Right, it's clearly an item over there. And there's clearly a man with a bow. I don't know the best way to go here. The fuck? Hello? Was it the man with the bow shooting at us, I assume? Alright. Careful. Wait. Oh. Fool. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, hang on a minute. Should there not be the skeleton with the contraption? No, this is this bit. And I guess we probably go further to get to the bit with the contraption in. There will be our big floaty moth. Ow, that almost hurt. What have we got in here? Oh, lots of boys. Please. Please. Just die. Are you going to stand up? I bet he is. He's almost certainly going to stand up. Yeah, okay. Don't think you can... I don't think you pull one over on me. Sent him soldier's gauntlet. 
Hurrah for Dead End. Thank you. Sunlight Metal. And then we've got ourselves a Human Effigy chime times two. Wow. It's so generous. The randomizer is obviously kind of inherently imbalanced because of the uh, the generosity with its... That doesn't sound promising. With its uh, human effigies and flame butterflies and such things. It's over here. I think I've ever been over here before. This is this the way we're supposed to be going? Hello. I knew it was there. I was just kind of waiting until we had a bit more of a... Bit of a bigger area to fight him in. Let's also have a sippy or two. Uh, right, that's clearly nothing. So, I don't think we've gone the wrong way or anything like that. Oh, there's a boss? What the fuck? Is there a boss or is this just a way to get to another area? Maybe there is a boss in Huntsman's Cops I've completely forgotten about. Well, this would be a surprise either way. Um, is this a way to get to the skeleton contraption area? Uh, probably, yeah. Oh, there's a skeleton with a bow and arrow. I hope there's no more necromancers. Thank you. God knows how he didn't hit us. Oh, there is. Oh, joy of joy. Right, where is he then? Come on, you shit. Where are you? Got to try that jump as well. That's going to be fun. No, I'm just going to light this. And then I'll probably put the torch away. Was that the guy that was firing magic cats? He's not up on the platform and can, like, summon them from miles away or anything like that, is he? Right, let's take you down. Open this up. That's a shortcut back through. Oh, you're probably supposed to rest at the bonfire where Crichton is. And then use this as a shortcut to get to the... What I assume, then, is probably a boss fight. Which, if true, is going to be a right pain in the ass. Um, right, let's check over here. He could be down here, I guess. Hello. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, God. I was worried, then, that the thing was going to... Oh. Soul of Natalia, Bride of Ash. Holy shit, wow. And I guess that, that could even be the key. Again, if keys aren't randomized, that is. The fuck was that over there? Did you see that? It was like a random soul. Eat! Good jump. Uh, soul of a giant. Another soul of a giant? What the fuck? Um, what happens if you fight Vendrick with more than the standard souls of giant in your backpack? Could you do like shitloads more damage? Oh! God, that was dangerous. I was going to try and turn there at the last second. Okay. Um, wow, I'm so glad we risked that jump then in hindsight. Holy shit, so we've got two souls of a giant now? We're not even supposed to have those. And then, of course, we've got Soul of Nadalia again, which is another one of the daughters of Manus. Unbelievable. Give us a give us a sippy. Let's have a sippy to celebrate. Let's have a sippy to celebrate the fact that we've got no fucking bonfire anywhere near what I can only assume is a boss fight. Try up, then bug? Oh, is there a moth or something? Oh, well. Not that Manus could go do anything about it. Boss ahead. Hurrah for skeleton. Oh, my God. It's a skeleton legion, isn't it? What's he called? Skeleton lords. Oh, this is a horrendous boss fight. This is a horrendous boss fight. You're probably thinking, oh, this looks fairly easy. Yeah, they fucking regenerate and they summon a load of bloody pinwheel skeletons. And other such things. Please don't do that. Please fuck off. It's actually not, it's not difficult, but I don't like fighting it with one Estus. All right, let's be careful. Be gone, be gone. Be gone. Oh God, this is, this is getting me on edge now. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. Let's get out of there. Back up a little bit. Let the stamina regen. They all count, by the way, as the boss. Every single one of these enemies. Oh, this is horrible. We're getting a little bit surrounded there. Does the fire hurt? The fire does not hurt, luckily enough. Let's have a sippy. Bad time for a sippy. Luckily, he missed. Brilliant. I can't believe I forgot about this shitty boss. All right. Please be gone. Is that all there is left? Just four skeletons? It would be embarrassing if I died now, wouldn't it? Okay, come back. Come on. Let's not, let's not make this any harder than it has to be. This boss fight's already painful. Was that it? <laughs> <laughs> Paints gloves. Thank you. Appreciate that one. The Manischets of Judgment, did that say? I didn't even read what the word said. Dark Knight Stone. Um, brilliant. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, they've got to have a shitty sort of group boss fight in every Dark Souls game, don't they? So you've got, obviously, in this one, this. And we also the... the Whatever, the procession before the Freya fight. This is a dead end. Nice job. Thank you, Chief. Actually, was that a dead end? Oh, it's not. God, I came back. Oh, my God. That was, um, that was something. We got no SD, though, so I should probably check if we've got any just generic healing items. That was fun. I like that. A little bit, little bit on the edge. Kept it tense because, again, we didn't have any healing. So kept us on, uh, kept us on our toes. That way is the way we're supposed to be going, from what I recall. This is the way to actually get to 
the poison area. Jumping? Ah, uh, no. No. So if we go back the other way, we can get to the Executioner's Chariot. Um, yeah, so that's the windmill. That's the poisony windmill where we're supposed to be going. We are going to backtrack because there's still a lot to see in Huntsman's Cops. I don't remember where the key is. I'll be honest. To unlock what's his name. And it, again, it might be randomized. I don't believe keys. Do they come back? What the fuck? We're going to leave. This is cursed. All right, so we need to go the top road this time. And the top road, I believe, is the way to... Is the way to the Executioner's Chariot. The harder boss of Huntsman's Cops. And again, it's more Skellingtons. I don't know why this area is so Skellington heavy. But yeah, you know what? That brings a little bit of life into it. A little bit, a little bit of challenge. Wasn't much of a challenge, but, you know, not having any, uh, not having any life whatsoever made that a much more enjoyable boss fight, because it's just so boring normally. I'm pretty sure this is the way to the Executioner's Chariot, but I might be wrong. Please bear with me. It's going to take me a while to find my... <gasps> Merciless Rowena. She's a, she's a caster, aren't you? Don't even do that. Very merciless. Wow, I'm not really sure how we're going to pull this one off, team. Shit, well, that was... Ooh, man. That was a close one. Undead lockaway key. Oh, my God. That's how we get the bonfire. Oh, good. Okay. And a human effigy as well. Thank you. 29,000 souls means we should probably go for a full retreat. Uh, we'll unlock the bonfire. We'll get Crichton out of there. We'll travel back to Minjula. Get ourselves over there. What are we up to? 26 minutes. This has been a very successful episode for 26 minutes. Like I said, I really, really struggled with this own first time. And now I've got this new controller. I don't know. I feel like it's, it's, it's night and day. Let me in. Where is he? Little Crichton. Hello. Who are you? So the bastard he's referring to is Mild Man of Pate. That's the guy who trapped us. Crichton of Mirror. All right. Well, I say trapped us, but the, the, the map is called, like, Pate's Trap. Uh, Learn Gesture. Fist Pump. Oh, that's going to be the intro to our next video. Right, let's have a bit of a rest. Bonfire lit. And let's go back to Majula. This has been a brash, breath of fresh air. We didn't die once. We didn't die once. 30 minutes, didn't die once. I know it's not that much of a bracken, right, is it? And especially not against the boss that we fought. But it just feels quite nice. To go from playing keyboard and mouse to, like, actually something decent is, is quite a nice change. So, I think we want to go... Do we need decks for our hammer? I don't even remember. I do want to start working towards the chime hammer. Um, yes, thank you. Goodbye. Right, uh, let's take a look here. What have we got? Uh, sacred chime hammer. It's just faith, intelligence. Strength we don't need. Strength we don't need because we can just two-hand it. Which I probably would anyway for the bonus damage. Because that's going to be a lot of bonus damage because you're two-handing already a very powerful weapon. So, the int needs to go up to 12, right? And now all we've got to do is get a couple of levels of faith. Like, four levels of faith and we're good. Was it up to 12 or was it 14? If it's 14, it's going to take us quite a while to get there. We've also got the soul we can crunch. Uh... Oh, nice. All we need is uh, faith now. So, 12 faith. Let's see if crunching that soul, the Squalid Queen's soul. Oh, sorry, the Bride of Ash. Completely wrong one. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a fragment. Right, right. So, the way this works is we have to collect multiple different variants. But we do have the Soul of a Brave Warrior, which is another 5k. It's another level. Soul of a Proud Knight, another 2,000. Probably shouldn't be crunching these because we're not going to be quite uh, close enough to a level. All right. 20,000. Let's see what we've got. All right, uh, and we want a little bit more faith. There we go. So we're actually not too far away. Another 30, 40,000 souls, something like that. We should have enough to be able to use a Sacred Chime Hammer, which is, I think a lot of people would consider it a, a very, very powerful Dark Souls 2 weapon. Can we infuse anything? Um, reinforce, what have we got? Um, again, we've just got enough to basically reinforce if we want to go for the Black Knight Grey Axe. We have obviously buffed that as well. What do we need for the... Oh, we've already fully buffed the Sanctum Hammer. Oh, that's even better still. Fine. Hmm. We've got enough. All we need now is just the decks for that, but we're quite low on decks, aren't we? I think we've only got like 14 decks or something like that. Um, Black Dragon Great Sword we can use. And to be fair, what else are we going to use the Petrified Dragon Bones on, realistically? That could be a, 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 a tempting thing there. King's Leggings are part of the King's Armor set, so they're also very, very good. Um, I've got to use his Twinkling for that, really. Wow, okay, let's not waste it. And then, that also requires Twinkling Sun. I think that armor would be so good. Let's compare it right now. So, 280. And uh, what is that? That's plus 2. 246. 
Uh, ooh, it's kind of hard to say. It's basically better if you want defense against dark. Which, to be honest, there aren't a huge amount of dark enemies, as far as I can recall. Besides the final boss of the game. But, if you're needing to upgrade armor to be able to defeat that, I feel like you've got bigger problems, huh? Anyway, we'll leave that there for today. Today has been a very successful episode. Uh, can we change some of our... What have we got? Get out of here, point. You're sacked. Let's go for Mock and Fist Pump. Thank you all for watching. See you all for the next episode of Grapple Crap.